Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I break down a whole Scottish salmon. At the same time I'm going to be using and reviewing the Tombro Viking knife. It is preferred to be used on meat, so I'm excited to see how this knife performs. The first thing I do with fish is a freshness check. I look at the scales and feel the firmness of the meat. I then check the gills to make sure there is little to no discoloration. Old salmon, the gills turn brown. If the gills are brown, I send it back. I'll then run my fingers inside the fish and give it a smell. Fresh salmon actually smells like watermelon to me. It's quite strange. Now that I know there's a keeper, I'm going to start by cutting the head off. Once the head is completely off, I start by placing the edge of the blade above the spine of the salmon and quickly cut down the length of the fish with a slight sawing motion. I repeat the process, but this time underneath the spine to remove said spine. The next step is to remove pin bones that run along the shoulder portion of the fillets. We can leave the rib cage bones for now. Next, I then portion the fillets into thirds. I use the natural body lines to decide where to cut. I also use approximately two hands wide for each portions. This will determine the length of the saku block. Once cut into thirds, I then remove excess bones or stomach lining and set them aside. I then cut above and below that center line, removing that cartilage-like meat and set it aside. What's left are called saku blocks or square-shaped loins ready to be cut for service. Once cut into saku blocks, I pan the loins and sprinkle them with a light coating of salt and let them sit. The salt will draw out any excess moisture as well as retain the saturated color of the meat. It is important not to oversalt the fish as we are not trying to cure it. With the excess meat and bones, I will scrape off any usable meat and use it for spicy salmon, salmon burgers, or I'll freeze it until I find a use for it. The bones of salmon contain a lot of fish oil and can be boiled off with other fish bones to create a rich fish broth. So save it if you want.
After about 10 to 15 minutes, you'll see the moisture start to come out. At this point, you want to go ahead and rinse and pat dry all of your salmon loins. It'll be ready to be stored or used for service. A quick pro tip when cleaning my cutting board, I use lemon to scrub and pick up any fishiness and fish oil left on the cutting board. Be sure to pick up any scales that may have flown off because they tend to stick to things, especially when they dry. Well, this is how I break down salmon for sushi. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. There's plenty of ways to do this. This is simply how I do it. My fastest breakdown was five minutes from whole salmon to salted. Uh, maybe I'll do a video of that in real time to show you guys, but um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video, you guys. If you want to help me out in any way, shape, or form, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button or hit the like button. It's free. Um, I'd really, really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.